Hello everyone, this is Reese Gibson from QTE Manufactured again with another tech tip. Today we're going to talk about metric taps. Create metric taps in an inch environment. Now when you go through this tapping procedure here, basically you can get a to your tool library or get a quarter twenty standard tap. Okay. And we give it a we give it a depth here and we give it a tapping cycle. Okay. What we're looking for is if you're in a rigid tapping function, if it's a quarter twenty, you take thread threads per inch. And it should come out one divided by your threads per inch, that's feet per revolution. If you're going to use a metric tap, basically we have to tell Mastercam how many threads per inch in a metric environment. So if we right click, create a new tool, we'll create a, we'll create a tap here. We'll call it an M6 by 1.25. Right now we need to know the exact amount of the diameter so we can take 6 and do a metric conversion. That's the diameter. Now we need to know how many threads per inch is a 1.25 millimeter. So that's basically 1.25 millimeters per revolution. They do not run off of threads per inch so we have to convert the 1.25 to threads per inch. So formula for this is I use the 1.25 and I multiply it by 0 0.03937 which gives me feet per revolution. Now I need to convert that to threads per inch. It's very simple. Basically you take that number on number one and divide by how many threads per revolution and it gives you threads per inch. So you have to tell the metric tap how many threads per inch in the metric environment for master cam to figure the correct feed rate. Hope this helps everyone. Look forward for the next tech tip for master cam.